This is the Confederate submarine, the H.L. Hunley. You'll notice it has a spar out in front. There is a torpedo charge right there. It's a keg with 125 pounds of black gunpowder in it. It has two turrets, two ways to get in and out of the submarine, and a snorkel system. If you can see the one pipe here, there's another one on the other side. They can lift those up and have those above the water line so they can get air. Now, they had to be very shallow, but it was a way to get air into the submarine. It was built, it was designed and built by Horace L. Hunley and his partner, James McClintock. These were the two that built it. Now, the Hunley was not their first attempt. They had two submarines that were called Pioneer, Pioneer 1 and Pioneer 2. That didn't really work. But you can see there's quite a similarity between Pioneer 2 and the final outcome of the Hunley. The Hunley was built in the Park and Lions machine shop in Mobile, Alabama in 1862. And I was lucky enough that when the building was condemned, the mayor had the presence of mind to keep some of the bricks and sell them <laughs> as souvenirs. So I actually have at home a brick from the building where the Hunley was built. Okay? So <clears throat> the Hunley was built in Mobile, Alabama and was tested in Lake Pontchartrain. This is an early depiction of the Hunley. You'll notice there's no spars. What they were testing was how to deliver the torpedo. And in this case, they were going to tow the torpedo behind the Hunley, go underneath the enemy warship, and then detonate the torpedo. Worked fine in Lake Pontchartrain, but when they got into Mobile Bay, they found out that the tide was pushing that closer and closer to the Hunley. They couldn't get away from it, so they jettisoned the idea of towing the torpedo. That didn't work. <clears throat> 